Welcome to the madness. All right, folks. How's it going? The name's Deffy, and welcome back to another episode of Mech Warrior Five Season Two Point Five. Right. Okay. So in this episode, me amigos, we are going to be doing the Uprising Quelled Psychwest for the Capellic Federation, I believe. So yeah. So um, we also did a new build for the Marauder, which is a triple AC two burst fire build. With uh, four medium lasers, so we're trading the big punch impact of the Gauss rifle for some shreddability. So yeah, so I can't wait to use that to try it out. So yeah, so apart from that, uh, nothing, nothing changed in between episodes. I've not updated anything or I've not uh, done anything off screen. So yeah, everything's just the way it was. Now, also, there was one other thing I wish to mention. There was one other thing I wish to mention. We have the Rise of Rasselhag here. Mm-hmm. We've got the Rasselhag Republic here. Now, the only problem is... Now, the only problem is, yeah. we got Rasselhag right here, right? So, you know, from... We're past the, uh, the date of when the Rasselhag Republic formed. However, 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 we are way past the date... Excuse me. We are way past the date of when the Federation Commonwealth would happen. So what would happen is, I think it's 3028, this would be yellow. Now, I did mention that a few times. However, I'm starting to think it's, you need DLC 2 in order to see the change actually happen. See, the only problem it is, and I'm going to show you in the top left hand corner, or top right, sorry. That, that is the star map from my side file, which is in the Jihad, right? And all this is yellow. So I don't know if it's a glitch thing. I don't know if you need the, um, I don't know if you need the DLC 2 to work. I have no idea. But also we do have some other areas as well. We have some independent zones here, which is pretty cool. We have the Duchy of Adrian. And over here we have the set Ivan's Compact. So yeah, so... Some some changes to the star map. I just wanted to let you know with that. Also, there's now a conflict zone down here where it's the Torian Conquered. So if you want to go play for them, you can if you wish. So yeah, so overall we got some changes to the star map now. So that's something I neglected to go over. Because it is a bit of a dynamic timeline. Bit dynamic star map. Because some borders get changed, some areas get added, some get taken out. You can start fighting for other places, because I believe before something like 30, 30 or whatever. Torin Concordats, you could fight for them, but now you can, I believe so. Yeah, so there's some different things we're going to be doing. But anyway, we are heading to over here now. But before we do, I know we've got Cantina. Did I accept the missions? I did not. So kill five assassinate. So five assassin mechs for a tier five burst fire. AC10, not bad. Uh, let's get some life rifles, some bills. We can pick them up. Awesome. And we can get, what, tier four heavy rifle? Sure, whatever. I might run heavy rifles again. We'll see. Alright, so yes, yeah, so that's where we're going to be going. We're going to be going to Bora to do this. So this is a demolition contract with a 580 tonnage limit. Now, when it comes to the tonnage limit, I have no idea. Apparently, I've been seeing some other YAML playthroughs recently where the tonnage limit is actually vanilla. So I've no idea what's going on with mine. I don't know if some center changed, maybe. I've not a clue. Alright, so anyway, let's get started then. Okay, discover or yeah, discover the location of the animal's enemy's base and destroy it. The remainder of the path of disobedience will surely bring my people back to life. Sure. And apparently our one of our cantina drops is here as well. Also, I will apologize about the commentary. I am not too long after my dinner, so I am going to be getting a lot of um, a lot of wind going up, so if I don't hit my mute button in time, I will apologize in advance. Right, so anyway, we've got hazard pay, so we can get some good salvage. And we can get some good money as well. 30 salvage, 2.8 million. Sounds reasonable to me. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yep, we are going to run the Marauder. Gonna try it out. Okay, let's see. So do we want the awesome... Uh, maybe not. Let's switch to something else. Uh, what can we use? So yeah, let's go with the Stalker. We'll go with the... The Victor. Just do some different stuff. And I think we'll run the, uh, the Archer. We're not run, not run that in a while. Yeah. Yeah, I've not run the, uh, the Archer in a wee while, have we? We haven't. Yep, sounds good to me. Uh, tell you what, let's check out the equipment more here. 
Check out the equipment, see if there's anything we could buy. Um, I'll be 10 solids. I do want to, actually, I do want to get a couple more of them because I do want to upgrade them, actually. I do want to get tier 4 um, LBX solids for the, ooh, Artemis. Yeah, I do want to get some tier 4 um, solid slugs for the, uh, the Victor. I am making it my mission, though. Okay, apart from that, nothing else. Not just some cores. Uh, that's a probe. Ultra huge ammo. Hmm, okay. Supercharged P. Uh, Supercharged pirates. Oh, endo. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to buy some endo. And we're almost out of money. Holy spit. How much does that cost? Okay. I must have a lot less money than I thought I did. If I had more money than that. Sell it, Diana. Well, might as well. It's just sticking around. I was just going to stretch it. Well, let's sell it, Diana. I might as well. Yep, 2 million. That's fine. Yeah, I was just going to keep it for item's sake, but... I didn't realise I just spent all my money. Yep. But that was a dangerous investment, but it's fine. We sold the Diana and now we're going to get our money back. So yeah, so that was actually really, really, uh, really worrying actually. Right, but it's all cool. 16 days. That's fine. That's ready. Let's wait. And we can get started then. So yeah, so this is going to be pretty cool, actually. So, um, I'm not sure if... Um, I think Chainfire might be best for the uh, the murder, for the, for the murder, for the AC2 grouping. Because what it goes is we can go... Instead of just like firing all the bursts at once. Because I don't know how long the cooldown is, we'll have to see. But this should be very interesting. Um, this should be very interesting. Alright, well, we'll try the chain group just for a chance, see what it's about, and then if it's still not good DPS, we'll do the full group. Yeah, that's some good English, definitely. That's some very good English. Although, I do have a reason. I do have an excuse. I'm Scottish. <laughs> if it was the fur of oppressors, we'd still be speaking Gaelic. <laughs> do you look English? I thought, never mind what you thought, you're right. Do we sound English? Did you hear us saying how it now with a brown cow? <laughs> oh, by the way. That's right, I got it fixed. Uh, yes, I finally, 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 finally got it fixed. Hallelujah, huh? Exactly, all good. Right, okay. I was just taking my, my usual pictures. <laughs> It's very interesting, like, um, very interesting, like, the, uh, the thumbnails I'm trying to do. There's a strong likelihood we'll find one of our hidden assets on this mission. Oh, good point, where is it? it on the other side, the fucking map, are you kidding? Right, do you know what, I have an idea. Let me switch to the Victor. Because the Victor can move very fast, so yeah. Switch to the Victor. We'll switch back to the thing eventually, we'll switch back to the Marauder eventually, but for now. Because we can run 181, actually. Let's... That's when you come this way anyway, right? Yeah, I think so. Do you want know an idea? Let's stick them here. And then we'll go on the offensive. Then we mech? Where? Eh, it's generate. So yeah, uh, would you believe me if I told you that, uh... Well, I mean... Yeah, I was going to say, would you believe me? Yeah. That's what happens when a variant has a jump jet and there's no animation for it. But yeah, those solids are doing the work. Very nice. Um, as I was saying, what was I saying? Yeah, would you believe me if I told you that um, I've got a spider in one of my side files and it's got a supercharger? It's got a supercharger, and when you see when you go max speed, it goes 300 kph. Would you believe me if I told you that? <laughs> hey, we gotta be careful not to over mask. Well, anyway, they could just defend themselves there. I'll say, well, I'll put them in. Uh, I will put some in gauge at will. 
So they could just bob with fire, they don't need to focus on targets or anything like that. Yeah, one of my one of my biggest problems is, in my opinion, is um I'm not a pu I'm not a huge fan of the mass cooldown. I actually don't know if there's a specific upgrade you can get for it. You know, to get it cooled down a lot quicker. Oh, uh, this track before? Nice. Cyclops, huh? <laughs> I don't have to do anything. Look! Look! Oh my god, it's getting torn apart. Oh shit. That's core. Yep, that's core. Got your Jimbo. Already got one. Yeah, I got Igor. Well, I'm surprised to have to do anything. I need to head back and check on the Marauder. Yeah, there's another Igor to blaze 10. I know, I know, I know, don't worry. Yeah, your Jimbo's starting to get some heat. Well, it's good to see that the uh, the rest of the comrades can... Uh, yeah, looks like they can look after themselves, it's pretty nice. Have a look around, Commander. Fine. That's close enough. Ready to start pick up operation. Right, we're going to be in the middle of combat in a second, so let me switch to the Marauder quickly. Huh, wasn't what I was expecting. There we go, very nice. Yeah, see what I was thinking was, I was thinking... I was gonna go do 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 like pretty quickly, but I guess not. Eh, well, we got plenty of shot, I guess we can... Plenty of shots. What am I doing? Take off the chain fire, might as well then. Right. Let's get moving them. Uh, okay, so we want to do this. About to focus fire. There you go. So yeah, so the Victor will get here eventually. I mean, like, Victor's already on his way back. Nice. Right, also as well, I believe I can start sniping these buildings. Nice. Oh, we're taking on the city. Nice. Uh, come on. Thank you. Marauder 4. Oh, light, double light PVCs and light AC5 and MMLs. Multiple missile launchers, right. Um, I actually do wish to get some light PVCs if possible. So I need to try and go for the core if we can. Eh, who cares. By the way, you're gonna see a cut there. I just uh, I was messing around with some settings so I can so I can see what's going on. Is that there is a bit of stutter? My PC is not as powerful as it used to be. And my laptop, whatever. Oh no, I'll tell you why. I just remembered. I've got to update. I've got updated drivers. That's what I've got to do. Okay, let's look. Harasser. I'm gonna try and take out the core if I can. Because if we take out the core, we preserve the arms. That means we get a lot of the good stuff from the ER Smalls, the light. Because I do want ER Smalls. I want ER Smalls for um, our Black Knight because of the, uh, the laser lance quirk it has. You know, the extended range for small lasers. Right. We'll see if that did any good. Right, well, apart from that, smashing time. Nice open fire. <laughs> Leveled out flats, yep. 
for now. These cities are some of the best to take out. It's fun. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a kaiju right now. <laughs> I mean, literally, just, I can never get tired of a demolition. I really can't. Yep. Oh, overheated, and we actually have a rival. Uh, oh, rival. Got reinforcements. So we'll have to see what it is. That's the first person. A crab? A crab and a raven. Huh, that's another Frankenmech. What else we got? Got Marauder 3. Marauder 3. Punchback 4G, that's a dangerous one. Easy 20s, if you will. But we do have a good vantage point here, anyway. Come on, let's see who we can engage. Punchback's almost down at least. Stalker, please watch yourself. That's all I need. Go on then. Go on. What are we going to call us? Healthy fucker. That yeah, stock is getting a bean. Right, stock down. Stock. Punch back down. Yeah, poor Troon. Crab and a raven. Oh my. Oh my god, that actually looks weird. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, you actually kind of. Oh, is that Marauder Arms he's got? Yeah, that is Marauder Arms he's got. Huh, interesting. Okay, Mr. Evac is over there. Let's keep moving. And apart from that, that's a, a solid mission. Except we've got more reinforcements behind us. Should we see what it is? Eh, we'll see what it is when they come to us. I wouldn't mind a Marauder too. Just saying. What we got? Warhammer? Yeah, the other one's another hunchback. Yeah, shut up. Hmm. Yeah, hunchback 4P, that's what it is. Sure, I'll take it. We'll take him. We'll take him some salvage if you can. Oh, nice leg shots. It's supposed to be a sniper, this, not a. It's supposed to be a sniper loadout, not brawler. Let's be honest, we're doing a lot of any inner city fighting, so this is something different. I'll tell you what, speaking of DLC 2, can't wait till I get around to it because we have uh, Mega City maps. Uh, Stalker, please shift. Thank you. This isn't MechWarrior Online. We have to go in front of other people, and I'm hearing melee to the left side. Right, come on, let's take over. thing now. There we go. We Alright, we'll line up, and then let's go home. Line her up, and let's go home. Not a, not a bad mission. Not a bad mission whatsoever. Not to mention, what was it showing? But I've got right itchy thigh. <laughs> this was good, don't it? Heavy scratching his fucking inner thigh while trying to escape a bloody city of death and destruction. Trying to live it. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'll scratch you from the outside. It's not like I'm. Um, so like I'm scratching my ass or anything to stiff in it. Alright, what we got to is a salvage. See you in a sec. Uh, okay, yep. Elmer 15. Can we get two of them? Hold on. We just got two loot in one box. 
or is that a duplication? Because I did read up something about the latest patch that dropped the other day. I meant to, I meant to say that actually. We did actually get a patch the other day. Um, and apparently, if the item box was collected in the extraction point, it showed a duplication. So I'd be interested to see if we get two LRM 15 stream freeze, which we did. Interesting. I don't know if that is um, programmed to be that way. Or not, you know. Anyway, salvage time. Alright, so we got 30 shares, we have uh, mod 3, we got, yeah, we got a plow tune. It's interesting. Then you've got 250 double light rifles, medium lasers. It's not too bad for a 50 ton. You see, flea. Oh, that's a good question. Oh, that's a very good question. Do any of our stuff survive? Oh, cockpit small. Hmm, interesting. Is there something you want to tell us? Very, very interesting. So, it reads. Cop, uh, first introduced by the Federated Sons of 362. Basically, this reduces some of the, um, I believe this reduces some of the slots, I think. Uh, cockpit balance by reducing the weight of support equipment, the small cockpit only weighs two thirds as much as the standard cockpit. Also, frees up room in the mech's head, so larger equipment can be mounted there. So, if you've seen in the, the head component, there's only one slot, you put that in, whoops, and basically you can equip something like two or three. So, for example, the, um, I think it's the grasshopper, because you can, the grasshopper 4N, or whatever it is, has a one missile hardpoint in the head component. So the only thing you can put on is an LRM5. So if you wanted to, you could put a small cockpit in, that'll free up another slot, and then you could put on an LRM10 or something like that. So I could take that, but I'm not going to bother. Now instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these five E parts. Ballistic, light engine. Yep. And the mouse, because I want to see if I can try and get another mod of three, uh, mod of four, sorry. And see if we can get some of that good stuff, because we got F yeah, we've got fire control systems. Gyro Ultralight Light Engine, which would be beautiful. Endo. Yeah, we got some nice stuff there, so I want to see if we can gamble with that. Uh, apart from that, we'll take a flea part just to put together and sell. I mean, the flea has jump jets. Yeah, weird. And apart from that, we've got eight, so I guess we might as well just pick for value. Uh, we got that, I guess. Um, as for Marnimus, we'll take some more. You can have too many of those. I do plan on using that. Um, Using SRM Artemis as soon. Pop pick we'll take. That's cool. We've got one more pick. So it'll be a uh, single heat sink. Sure. Okay. Decent decent salvage. Very decent. Alright. A few transmissions. Alright. Uprising Quell Part 2. Commander. When you strike on the Rebels base was effective. It seems your actions created unforeseen repercussions. I assume the commoners would be awed by my mighty display of force and settle down. Instead, your actions emboldened them. I have received word that a local peasant, one Josh Forsyth, has been landed as a folk hero, Somet somehow getting his hands on the lands of battle mechs. This man of the people is now openly questioning my rule and making some real noise. The last thing I need to draw to attention of the House of Scions to what? The last thing I need is to draw the attention of the House of Scions to my small neck in the Capella Confederation. I wish to never hear the name Josh Forsyth ever again. She'll just fool the true price of treason. I quickly. His spirit of dissension cannot be allowed to spread within my duchy. Alright, we got double other than 20. Nice. There's some. Yeah, cool. We'll do them. Job rewards. Oh, yes. Tier 4 Gauss rifle. Now that's a bit punchier than the last one because the other one. Pardon, was tier 1. But now we have <laughs> tier 4. Very nice. I am going to make a, I am going to make a gauss boat at some point. I'm going to make a gauss boat, but maybe the king crab. Maybe the king crab. Maybe take off two PPCs and make it two PPCs and two king crab, uh, two gauss rifles. My idea. Okay, uh, faster missile reload two. Faster missile tube feed mechanisms deliver missiles to racks in record time. But also we have refined armor two. Improvements in elimination technologies 
techniques and a more effective range of ceramic components have created a refined version of the standard armor plating that reduces penetration without using any new materials or increased mass. Very nice. So, treasure hunter. What's that? Here. So, minus 10% missile cooldown. Oh my god. That's a good one. That's a very good one. And we have 5% armor as well, which is really nice. Yeah, that's the structure. Yeah, we got some good stuff. 10% ballistic damage. Yeah, there's some good stuff here. See, once you get these, like, leveled up, there is some beautiful ones. I mean, look at this one. 15% missile range and velocity. Honestly, that is so good. You can really customize your mechs however you want with it. It's just go full missile if you want it to. And trust me, I think, yeah, I think I'll do that with um, the Rada 2, the missile one. Like, like here, we have missile 2.5%, missile heat, 10% missile damage, dude. 7.5 missile spread. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. That's a just showed. Uh, we got. Missile damage, yeah. We also have range of velocity. Just add all the L's if we can. <laughs> Dude. Overpowered! <laughs> right, okay, well, where's the next, um, where's the next one? It's down in Ovan. Yeah, it's down in Ovan, it's literally north of Glasgow. Uh, I tell you what, let's head to... Sana? War zone contract? Yeah, actually, it's funny. Yeah, Halstavian. Yeah. It's weird how they haven't changed yet. I don't know what triggers it. Uh, okay, let's put in our repairs then in case we want to use them again. We'll see. And let's head to... Yeah, let's head to... Uh, let's head to Gifa. That's a war zone, so we can do ourselves a war zone. And then we can head towards the next... We can head towards the next thing then. Mm-hmm. Head towards the next quest. And then maybe we could stop at Glasgow for a quick bite and a piece of sausage, eh? Right, uh, let's see here. Right, so yeah, it's good contracts. It's a mission. Mm, great standoff. It's maximum. Difficult to wait nine. That's fine. It's going to be a quick one, but hey, it's a quick money grabbing salvage, I guess. Not to mention, there is a chance we could run into Mod of War, which we could pick up. Now, do I want to change anything else? Um. Do you know what? I'm going to use the Yojimbo myself, just to test it out. And we're going to switch the Stalker for the... The, uh... Which, where is it? The Calfrats. There we go. I used the Calfrat in a while. So yeah, we'll give that a shot then. Keep the Victor, keep the Archer. Sure. Let's rock and roll. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I do want to test out the Yojimbo myself. <clears throat> Just because we put it together, um, maybe not last episode, but maybe the episode before. And, yeah, I haven't used it yet, so I think now's a good time to use it. It hears me saying that I don't want to use um, anything less than 60s. You might hear a bit of a noise. Yep, I was just rearranging my mic. As I was saying, you might hear a little bit of a noise, I'm not sure. Depends on future Deffy if you hear it or not. Just remember, you are forever at my power. <laughs> da, I'm a little bit of a random mood tonight. Yeah, I'm in a very, like, chilled, like, it's kind of weird. I'm kind of, like, in a chilled, slow kind of mood today. And to be honest, when I'm like this, it makes a shit commentary, because sometimes I don't string my sentences together. Hey, I mean, at the end of the day, it's the action on the screen that's more important than my commentary. At least in my opinion, it is. And this is coming from a perfectionist as well. Okay, what groups? Jeez, what the fuck is this? Huh? That is... That is very, very odd. Okay, was I not supposed to do something like this? Oh fucking clue. Okay, let's do some. Nice. Right, I didn't see what we're up against. We've got Cicada. 
Shit, it does a bit prematurely. What's the other one? I see the other mech there, but I don't know what it is. Great one. Nice one. Alright, let's go deal with Cicada then. Huh, that's interesting. I can't get a line of sight. Right, what's the other one? Sedstone. 82. Nah. Let's kind of hope for an AC, uh, Ultra 5 then. Yep, yeah, lucky shot. Crab, huh? Crab legs on the menu? Yeah, for some reason, we can't get anything on the sensor. Let's do now so we can arc over the building if we can. Nice. There we go, nice. I'm gonna go take care of these cards now. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I can't wait to run some. I tell you what, if we got the Guild Jimbo still, um, what we could do is we could actually put clan alarms on. Some clan fives or some clan tens. That would make it. Actually, this would make this. Yeah, this would actually make it a very, very good build. Is, it'll be a good sort of like pseudo clan mech. Some degree. <laughs> Who doesn't find a mech? You know what I mean. I'll tell you one thing. I was playing my side file today. The one in the Jihad. You know what? I took the screenshot at the beginning. I ran into my fucking nemesis today. A mislinked G. Now, if you're wondering. Okay, what's bad about that, for those who don't know? A mislinks. A mislinks is a 25 ton clan mech, but the G variant is bad because that's the one with a lot of machine guns. And when I mean a lot, I mean a lot. About 12, I think it is? Yeah, it's something ridiculous, it's like 12 or something, but also, I did run into Piranha as well. So yeah, it's machine guns and fucking ER largely, uh, ER small lasers, I'm telling you. I got shredded. I was running a Jenner as well. Max Armor? Just got shredded. Anyway, if you're wondering, 3 out of 13. 4. 4 out of 13, though. Go on, then. I'd rather stay here, to be honest. We do have the metaphorical high ground. Okay. Okay, now the question is where? Over here. Come on, please drop a Marauder 4. Any variant will do. Huh, it's a purple one. Free Wells League or something? Oh, we got a mech over there. Sure, let's stop firing that. Oh no, we got crab. Interesting. It's only other one. Trebuchet. Hmm. Yeah, let's deal with the traps first. God, the amount of missiles is disgusting, isn't it? Thank you. Now let's deal with the other guy. Yeah, you got this. Yep, and this is where the chain fire comes in handy. Nice. Yep, three salt. Quad AC2 E core. Hmm. We actually lost, uh, actually lost our missiles for a second there because they just disappeared midway. Come on, don't it please, thank you. Two more left. Max. Nope. Is that gonna go over? No, it's not. I can't target that, sir. Yes, you can. It's just two tanks. <laughs> the, the quicker we get this done, the better. 
please. Oh, come on. Fuck's sake. Go on, Victor. Sick. Sick him. Nice. And this one, please. Come on, don't want to waste any time. We want to get to the next quest. Thank you. Right, where is the evac? The evac's to the right. Where the hell is our evac? All the way there? What's the hell? Right, well, I might as well kick back and relax a little bit. Cheers, by the way. Whitworth. Hmm. Where am I taking a Whitworth, actually? Let's go. We'll keep firing while we're passing. I'm not fast. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Give us a fucking break, man. They really do not want me to leave, do they? No, they do not. Right, what's over here? Wasp? Ah, I'm not interested in Wasp. Thank you. Wow, that was quick. Oh no, sorry, it's just a double, uh, it was a double voice line. I thought for a second that the, uh, the wasp pilot ejected because sometimes that can happen because, um, see, I'm not sure if it's, uh, vanilla. Well, I mean, this is close to vanilla pilots that I'm going to get. But, uh, I believe the 303 pilot overhaul mod, I believe that gives the pilot a morale system. So depending on what happens, a pilot can actually eject. In fact, the cool thing is, the, uh, the Yamble, uh, yet another mech lab, actually gives us a ejection of our own. So, for example, if we don't want to lose any weapon systems or lose a mech or something, I believe the default key binding is Control K, and that will just send you skywards. And because of uh, DLC 2 and DLC 3, mech switching and switching mech upon death, you just switch to another mech. No problem. Although, to be honest, I think before switching to another mech, I think if uh, DLC 2 you still did it, I believe you still failed the mission anyway. Because before DLC 3 implemented that change, um, if the commander's mech gets destroyed or you eject it, that would have been a mission failure for some reason. I always thought that was fucking stupid. Makes sense though. Makes sense, do not get me wrong, but it's stupid. Well, anyway, that was the Yojimbo. That was fun to play. I'm not going to lie. Alright, 21 picks. Uh, Jenna, Wyvern, Javelin. I'm not gonna lie, this is just a weapon pick for me, this. Yeah, this is just items. Yep, just some items. I've done that in a while. Just <laughs> picked items. Normally I would go for like another mech or something to sell it, but that's fine. Right then, okay, so let's do another return or repair all or something. And we can proceed to the next area, which is Ovan. Nice. So yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, what do I want to run next? Not a clue? I actually don't know what I want to run next. Right, okay, sorry about that, folks. I just uh, got distracted by my, my phone for a second then. Right, okay, actually, speaking of my channel, I've been recording for 40 minutes. Wow, that's the quickest 40 minutes ever. Alright, well, we'll do this quest and then we'll call it there. Uh, quick look at the equipment first. Again, in case there's anything we want. Heavy rifles. Another solid to, to upgrade. I guess maybe I should start upgrading some of these Artemis 4s, I guess, maybe. Let's see. Why, you think I made a money? Okay, equipment, look, uh, case. Yeah, case is quite interesting. Protects the component from internal explosion damage traveling to adjacent components. So for example, if you had ammo in the torso and it got a critical hit, it would blow up, destroying the torso, but what happened was the damage would go to your center torso and then that would have been the end of it. But for this, you don't need. But we got one. Uh, mobility gyro, nope. Yeah, can measures, no. Mm, heat 70 safety override. 
Actually, do you know what? I'm going to take that, as I know I'm not, because um, basically what you do with this is when you use an engine under 240, I think it is, you need 10 heat sinks or close to 10 heat sinks or whatever. But basically with this, you just put it in and you don't need to. So I was going to pick that, but no, that's a bit cheaty, actually. Uh, sure, I'll pick us some double ammo. Double, nah. Lots of five, huge ammo. No, I don't need. Right, okay. Let's do this then. Yep, let's do this then. Be quick. Alright, assassination 58. No problemo. Let's get as much salvage as we can. If we get as much money as we can. Be very, very useful. And let's switch for the... Uh, what do I want to use? I'm going to take the Atlas A again. I'll buy and release or Atlas. No, not. Sorry, yeah, it's the D variant. I want to take a bind release again because I want to see. I want to give it another shot. I want to see what it's about. Uh, let's switch this for the crab. We'll switch to Victor for the. We'll switch for the Black Knight. And I'll switch the Archer for the Cyclops. Fuck it, we're going to use Cyclops in the meanwhile. Alright, let's go then. Also, I will change, the, yeah, like I said, I will change the, um, I will change the loadout of the Black Knight and give it a custom one. It's just that I'm thinking ER Smalls. The only problem is with that, we've only got a few of them. And it's like eight hard points, seven energy hard points, so I'd like to fill them out with uh, ER Small lasers because, to me, it's the best mixture between damage, range, and heat. So it seems that despite your previous raid on the settlement, the people have only grown more resolute. A citizen has risen up to lead his people in rebellion, Josh Forsyth, the hero of the Capelan commoners. He's rather brave, I'll give him that. But Duchess So has put a large bounty on his head. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, it, it has the damage, or near enough the damage, of a medium laser. It'll have the heat of a medium laser as well, but it'll have the, uh, not the heat of medium laser, it'll have slightly less heat than a medium laser, but it just offers more punch than the small lasers itself. And not to mention, the ER smalls have roughly, I'm going to say maybe three quarters of the range of a medium laser. With that quart, by extending it by 80%, we'll actually be shooting further than a medium laser. So that's what my thinking is. But if we could get my hands on pulse lasers, small pulse lasers, oh baby. That will be very, very tasty if we can. There we go, very nice. Not wasting my ammo on significant bugs like that. Absolutely hell no. Mm hmm. Okay, what do we have? We've got a spider. Spider FK. Nice. <laughs> nice. God, that what? What PPC is so nasty? Dude. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. It's just autopilot, isn't it? Do you know what? I just realized. Yeah, I just realized that this Atlas D variant is basically a bigger brother to this current Cyclops we have. Because the Cyclops has a, an AC-5, two large lasers, and an LRM-10, where this one has two binary lasers, an AC-10 burst firing, double LRM-15. Oh, excuse me. Right, we've gone up to... We've gone up to visual range soon. Okay, let's look. Mm-hmm. Clear the area of any. Don't see anything. Not yet. What we got? A ballista. Ooh, catapult and enforcer. Nice. Well, you know what you need to do? On fire. We also have, what's this? A Mackie! Ooh! 
the original battle mech, ladies and gentlemen. A Mackie, a hundred ton assault mech. Beautiful. Oh wow, a Mackie. Nice, I love it. Yeah, the Mackie. The Mackies are beautiful. They really are. Yeah, but it's also taking a pounder. Holy shit. Right, let's deal with uh, some of the other guys now. Yeah, I need to see with the Mackie first. Overall, the Mackie has a bit more power. Uh, apologize about stuttering. Just seems to come and go. Again, it's probably because I've not updated my game drivers. My, uh, sorry, my graphics drivers, sorry. Go for nice. And we got some more people behind us. What we got? We got some light mechs. Uh, Ratus. Okay. Also, we got some. Uh, also, have some salvage to pick up as well. Okay, let's get the assassin next, actually, yeah. We got kill five assassins, that's not bad. We also have a mongoose as well. Shh, I'll set some kind of engine. Alright, we'll let them finish him up. We're gonna pick up the salvage and we're gonna get out of here now. So yeah, Mackie, yeah, 100 ton assault mech. And yeah, in lore based, in lore terms, yep, that is the first ever battle mech. Honestly, I'm not joking. The first ever one. Nice. Right, just straightforward home then. Yeah, it's the first ever one. 100 ton though. But yeah, double PPC, double element 10 cluster. That's actually not a bad build. Not bad. Not bad elsewhere. Not bad. Also, I don't remember what the ballistics are, but maybe these are ones. Who knows? Who knows indeed. But yeah, we also have the ballista there as well. That's, what was it? It was a cap on the forcer, right? Very nice. Eh, tap me all you want. Guys, please do the honors. Let you can't. Yeah, I know, it's unnecessary damage, but you know. Stuff in a few extra sea bills won't help with. But yeah, Mackie. Hmm. That's very interesting. I didn't know the Mackie was in this uh, mod pack. I'm not sure if it's uh, Clan Invasion or if it's Shamo. Are they Clan Invasion, actually? I don't think I remember seeing a Mackie in a, a YAML playthrough. Not really. What well, funny enough is, however, um, there was a couple of new standalone mechs that was uploaded to Nexus the other day. Um, a Arthur, which I've never heard of before. That seems to be a Davian mech. It's a 70 ton, I think, 75. Something along the lines. And a 95 uh, Tukina, which looks beautiful. I've used the Tukina in um, my Battletech playthrough. Last year. The Maki. Okay, let's have a look. Kilroy. Oh, it's a... Oh, oh, actually, it's a... Oh, actually, it's a Hero Mac. It's a Hero Mac. Interesting. 65, Frank and Mac. Heavy rifles. Oh, okay. Bad. Bad was where? Buy from the Phoenix Hawk. Actually, we could take Phoenix Hot part, and that will complete the um, the other barrier that we have to get the ER large laser, I believe. So that's pretty cool. Assassin, Hunchback, Rattus, Mongoose. Take two, see if we can get a Beagle Active and Armor Pharaoh, that'd be nice. And apart from that, um, nothing much really. Anything interesting? That'll be 10 ammo. Eh, I can always grab it. No, we got four bins, it's more than enough in my opinion. We got double heat sink, which we can take. Always, always take double heat sinks. You never know when you're going to use them. And I guess we'll just pick up. Yeah, pick up a large laser because we need it for a cantina. That's what these uh, two white, uh, sorry, two green lights are. If you ever come across your salvage table, you see these. These is for your cantina mission. So I might as well pick them up. 
Okay, not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Okay. It appears your elimination of the man of the people was a severe blow to the morale. The citizens of my duchy seem to have simmered down, either beaten in submission or given a healthy dose of reality. Either way, I may not worry about them for the moment. They give you service to me, and ultimately to the celestial wisdom. May he live forever. Eh, guess so. Alright, not bad, and we can actually hand in this. For what? <laughs> okay. Okay, so I never really clocked this. So, this person wanted two tier 2 large lasers, and in return, we get a tier 3. <laughs> okay. Anyway, short of burn time. Overriding safety mechanisms of replacing key components with higher heat tolerance variants allow the same energy output over a shorter duration concentrating firepower. That is, it's a good one. Right, okay, not bad then. Right, let's uh, let's do a little bit of jackpot. So let's bit of jackpotty, shall we? All right, first of all, repair all those. Let's go to the salvage assembly because we've got some stuff we can put together. Uh, okay, let's put together a flea. Um, yeah, we'll put together the flea 14. Let's see why not. We can put together the mongoose. Uh, finally, we can put together the Phoenix Hawk. One, double K. It's a million, but it's worth it, in my opinion. Right, so let's see our jackpot. All right, so the flea is completely destroyed. Produce, we can sell that, no problemo. And yeah, that was a 15 ton flea as well, by the way. Mongoose, uh, what did we lose? What did we lose on the mongoose? We lost, we lost the engine. We did not lose Feral Fibers, that's nice. We did lose the Beagle Active Pro, which is a bit shit, but we got Ferro. That's good, so we can start that at least. We can get that uninstalled. Yeah, a little bit more extra money than usual, but it's fine. We're raking in it, we're rolling in it, we're all good. Now there's the question. Phoenix Hawk KK. Go do that. We're gonna go to E. Let's have a look. Please tell me he's there. No, are you fucking kidding me? That would have completed the build. Because, well, we got a large pulse laser, but we're not using that, but yeah. Ugh, that would have completed the build big style. Although, to be honest... The Orion! Of course, the Orion! Mini pulse? Nah, I don't need it, sorry. Yeah, of course, the Orion, the Orion, the Orion, the Orion, the Orion, the Orion. I completely, completely forgot. That's what I was doing, it was the tier f yeah, right, yeah, okay, I'm with you, I'm with you. I was going to make a quad ER large laser build, but I wanted to have a triple ER large laser for the, uh, for the Orion Yard, just to give it something, something different. Anyway, Cicada X5, the X5. What do you have, my friend? Double S from 2s, medium lasers, armor ferro, excellent engines, not too bad. Prop 20, uh-huh. There is 6M, we have a Marauder 4. Which is the exact same bloody one. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. 4 million. Do you know what? I want to take it for the stuff, actually. Strip it all and sell it back. Because we would have double of these. Do I buy it for 4 million? I mean, we could just sell that on. That's 100,000. We could sell the Fetus Hot 1 double K. I mean, we'll sell it as is. We'll get some money for it. If you're interested, here's the quirks. Uh, defective Frost Kit is standard. That's standard, standard. Long range, that's kind of standard. Last tech, yeah. 3 million. Just to let you know, I have not bought any mechs yet this playthrough. I've not. I've not bought any mechs yet. But I, I actually want to buy this because we can get all that stuff. I mean, we can get a light all the kind of five, two ER small lasers, two light PPCs, which is beautiful, multi missile launcher three, uh huh, five double heat sinks. 
Artemis cockpit small engine. A fire control system ballistic, which would be really, really beautiful for either the King Crab Carapace or the Marauder 3, uh, sorry, the Marauder that we have. A light engine. Council measures in UAV. But I made a promise to myself, or I said at the beginning of the playthrough that I wasn't going to salvage. That I was going to buy max, I was just going to be pure salvage. Oh, what do we do? <laughs> I actually want it. No, we're just going to salvage it. Nope, nope, we're going to salvage it. It's fine. We're going to play a lottery with the uh, the next Marauder 4 pick we get. All these mechs up to now have been salvaged. I'm not going to I'm not gonna worry about it. It's all cool. But what we are going to do, however, is that we are going to give our Orion a makeover. We're going to give it a makeover. We're actually going to make it a sniper. Okay, so here's the thing. With the Yard, we get... Laser heat generation modifier minus ten percent, laser beam duration modifier minus twenty, and yeah, we do get some missile projectile speed modifiers. But personally, yeah, I'm gonna make a uh, a free, a free, a free ER large laser build. Screw it, let's do it. Something different. And not to mention, I've got enough missile bolts as is. <laughs> so let's change it, shall we? Alright, so let's get rid of the main lasers. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. We'll get rid of these. Uh, get rid of that. Okay. Um, heat sinks. Get rid of that. Get rid of first for now. We'll get rid of single heat sinks. Alright, let's have a look. So, we get one of these. We're going to go torso here. One here and one here. Okay, so that gives us uh, 24 tons to work with, max armor. Right, here we go. Okay, so what we need is... Actually, we don't even need cooling. Actually, is this better? Actually, do we even need the XL engine? No, we don't. We don't need the XL engine. No. We don't need the XL engine. I personally think that's a waste, because we're not planning on having missed well. We do. We could actually put a couple of SRM 6s on. Or SRM Force for a bit of close range. Which I might do actually. Yeah, let's put some SRMs on just for a bit of close range punch. Uh, but the question is though, how much is. Vernals? Three tons? Uh, no. I think fours are probably best. Uh, I don't have high tier fours, but it could work. I mean, it's two tons each. One here. One here. Actually, no. Hmm. Uh, it says power chair, but sensors on. Got double heat sink royal. It's been a still like if we can. Single heat sinks. UAVs. Yeah, do you want to stick some UAVs on? Yep, yeah, let's take some UAVs on. In case, nope, but need. Hmm. Flexibility. Should we just go. Should we just go Attic Probe? Just thinking of the way I could uh, use the remaining tonnage, that's all. Because to me, I mean, look, we don't even need. We don't need cooling. Basically, we're almost heat neutral this way. So, which makes me think. We don't, probably don't even need the doubles. No. I don't even think we need the doubles. I think single heat sinks is more than enough. And to be honest, we've got a shitload of single heat sinks as well. Yeah, I personally think they'll do, you know. Big, uh, trying to warfare active probe. Uh, base sensor plus 15. Distortion range by 60%. A little under. Is there a way I can maybe squeeze out some more tonnage? Uh, mobility. Uh, she wants good flexibility for the torso twist. And you know what? I think I'll do. 
Yep, million. Yep, I think I'll do. So yeah, so we pretty much just changed the uh, Orion altogether. Yeah, we could win SRMs, I guess, instead of LRMs, but no, yeah, just make it triple. Make it, uh, I don't know, a less, <laughs> yeah, make it a less powerful uh, stalker. Uh, I think overall, I think it's better actually because, I mean, the stalker has like 10 more tons to work with, but it doesn't have the hero armor that the Ryan has, so I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trying to make it a bit different, you know? I mean, fuck, I've got like, what, how many missile bolts have I got? I've got, what, one, uh, yeah, I've got like one, fucking two, I've got, I've got loads, <laughs> I've got loads of missiles and stuff, hey, I'm just trying to be different, I am just trying to be different, right, well anyway my friends, so that is going to be it for this episode, so thank you very much for watching, so, where do we go from here, well I'll tell you where we're going from here, we're going back up north, we're going to go back to Steiner Space, and I think it's time to do which I think is the final hero quest, the stop the launch, and it's probably the most dangerous one. So yeah, so we've got a lot of tools. We have some bigger upgrades, so yeah, it's cool. And then I think from there, it's just basically just getting as much time past as possible until we get to the clans, and then we can start looking at some clan equipment to get some, some clan mechs as well. So yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll, use, we'll use some different types of clan mechs, different weights, and see what we can do, and maybe... Maybe even put all these guys to storage and... Now that's an idea. Putting these guys... Maybe when we get to the clans... Maybe putting these guys back in storage... And we work from the ground up again using clan mechs. So we use 20, 30 tonnes to start building ourselves up again. That's an idea, I'll think about that. Instead of just going into clan territory and just... Using 100 ton mechs and stuff, like actually like start at the bottom again and work our way up. You'll see why not. Right, so anyway, folks, so thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Links down below, check them out if you wish. Apart from that, enjoy the rest of your awesome day and hope to see you next time. Take care.